Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and that channel is Day of Chanel's What is World. Okay, starting out the new year. <coughs> but you do know you come over here for some wisdom, some golden nuggets, some laughs, some kiki, some highs, and some scandalous stories and marvelous stories. And you come back for another segment of Why are You Telling My Business? Don't be telling my business. Well, a can can and a can can and can can and a wheel. Okay, but I'm just kind of heartbroken because I heard not only from just being on my social media account, but I also heard from my daughter telling me that Portia Williams was in Miami for the New Year's holiday. And I'm like, with COVID ramping up so rampant and so vast in Atlanta, Georgia, why would you go out there to another hot spot, which is Florida, and the biggest tourism state of Miami, Florida? I don't care if you was on a private island or whatever, because ain't nothing private in Miami. Ain't nothing, uh, we call it, isolated or secluded in Miami. Because even the big wheels that have the money, they go occupy the smallest space and bring a whole lot of their entourage and they get party city wild on the beach. And then you going back, taking this shit back home to your daughter. Because I know... A responsible parent wouldn't have been out there from one, from just logic one and reasoning one. They would have been at home, sharing it with their family members, a small gathering. Everybody had been tested and all that good stuff. And just bringing in the new year a respectable way. Away from people that don't believe in shots or, in, you know, the injection they're trying to get us to get. Or uh, they don't want to wear their mask. And the damn sure don't want to be vaccinated. Okay, they just want to throw caution to the wind. Treat it like it's an ordinary cold. It's that third to pass over. Don't want to take no uh, fever reducing medicine. Just be hot. Just a hot spiking mess out there. And you out there. And big got baby girl PJ. Okay, that you got to come home to. Because I'm going to say, I know you say she traveled everywhere with you. But I'm going to hope you had some common sense to have left her little behind at home with some responsible adults. Okay. I'm sure Mama Gina didn't have nothing to do. And I'm sure Mama Diane damn sure didn't have nothing to do. Because she should have been on your ass. Talking about, no, you ain't going there. I know you got a life to live, but this is not the time to do it. Not on no New Year's Eve. Not when Georgia is spiking real high with the cold Ovid and the Omarion going on. Come on, girl. Come on. You you still can go on and get those injections out there, and you can still get the COVID. Okay, so well, what's going on, girl? What's going on? Why are you throwing caution to the wind? Okay, especially with the little baby girl that barely got her immune system intact. And you want to come up here and give all these kisses and hugs and this, that, and third. Because are you going to stay in Miami until you get a clear negative testing? And hopefully you went to, from Atlanta to Miami with a negative test result and your entourage too and from what i hear on sunday autumn's channel you still got the man with you simon g running around running from karen that he owed 200k for is he was with you because i think i saw in your video he was with you and you over there trying to be with tanya and i guess um uh, your other entourage uh lady friend um, uh, that is a cheerleader or was a cheerleader for um uh, the Atlanta Hawks. She out there with you too, trying to rise and shine. And if she know her, she know any better. She probably better stay away from you, cause she gonna get some pa a bad publicity hanging around with that Simon G. And I'm sure you have one of them husbands that don't like to get in a lot of mess, cause it don't seem like he a messy kind of guy. Seem like he like to party here and there, but he likes that family lifestyle and he likes his business on hush hush okay that's why you couldn't really become from what i hear don't really know allegedly you couldn't become a housewife because he didn't want to be up there and having nobody in his business like they try to get in your business because when you have reality shows like this you're gonna have tmz following short behind and other paparazzi that live in atlanta and everywhere that you may travel okay he ain't want that he, he, he ain't about that life Everything he do, wanted to, he wanted to stay in the dog, okay? Not saying he doing anything wrong or infringing on other people's uh, livelihoods or anything like that. But, girl, he, he don't want nobody in his business. And I can understand that black African man, Liberian man, uh, 
not Nigerian man. I don't know what uh, culture he is, but he all about his business. And he don't want nobody in it, okay? But, yeah, Portia's supposed to be out there, I guess, singing her woes or her distraughtness to Tanya. Because Tanya, she about that life, okay? She can be in the entertainment world for a few minutes and then she gone. Because she ain't got time for no bolo mess, no any infractions on what's coming in. And affecting her and her boyfriend, which she should have been married by now, but that's another whole story. She ain't on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, so we ain't got to gather up no BS. She don't like no salacious stories on her. She got a brand. She's a registered nurse. She's in the computer tech field. She's a motivator. She's a spokesperson. She got her stuff on lockdown. And this Ratchet TV show couldn't make her as much money as she makes already. Okay. And not for the backlash that it can bring you. But I guess she over there trying to talk to Tanya about how she can clean up her image. And probably how she can dump Simon. And I'm like, girl. Well, one way is that not to go be looking for no other man. And definitely traveling through the holidays when... COVID uh, it's just out there. Girl, are you crazy? And tell y'all to be crazy too for trying to follow her up in there. All right? Because we don't know what poor she got. We ain't, has she been tested? We don't know what Shamil got. And we don't even know what Tanya got. But I think Tanya, Tanya be on her business because she got to do work. She got to be in the face of many, many important people and clients and stuff like that. So she got to be top notch. But to sit there and be a part of two other women that's questionable with their testing. I don't know, Tanya, if that was a good look. I don't know if it was a good look at all. But, uh, yeah, Porsche out there celebrate. You know, her behind need to be at home somewhere. That's what she need to be, at home, acting like a real a mother. Because she give us one side to look at, the wholesome side, that she did that in third when everybody getting on her ass about doing something filthy and, and, and full of fuckery, foolishness fakeness and fraudulence then she want to run and go you know act like she ain't this kind of a uh, gold digger you know uh, uh, a whole out there she wants to see the better side of her but i'm like Portia, you, you don't show too many sides baby the only side that keep coming up is this negative side but you being you know trying to downplay somebody else's shortcomings we're not downplay but a, a heighten up somebody's uh down so you can look good like, you didn't know when she was sitting up around here talking about, I'm quitting this nation. I'm putting them on hold. I'm quitting housewives. I'm putting them on hold. Because I got me a real, real big uh, banger. I got me somebody going to take care of me. What about the Lord taking care of you and providing for all your needs? Portia, what about that? You know what I'm saying? Then you fall in tow and be your own entrepreneur. A woman here you war. You remember the feminist act, girl? I ain't saying you got to be all down like four or five times for them. But damn, at least have your own empire. In case a man call himself <coughs> want several girlfriends out there several wives and then you you can say hell to the no 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 you go on i release you from where i found you was the streets i release you back to the streets okay and you go on about your business but you still have everything intact that you built but you going around here they saying that i don't know how true it is because i believe if you believe in good you got to believe in bad and vice versa they say you got a spell on you girl we hoping that you break that spell, okay? Because I know when you're a firm believer in all that's good, in and everything can be broken. That's, that's uh, meant to shock, shackle you down and hold you down. If you got a very good uh, relationship with the Lord and you got praying people on your side, portion, you can break those chains, baby. But it seems like you want to be in that all debauchery as well. You want to be known. You want to be a part of the who's who's list. And when you want to go up that high, that far, that fast, you want to be in that realm of devilishness. That's just it. Point, period, and blank. You can't straddle the fence. You can't be good and you can't be bad. You got to be one or the other. Or one is going to cancel the other out. You understand what I'm saying? You can't serve money and the Lord at the same damn time. You just can't do it. <laughs> Many people have tried and failed. And I can say the same thing. You know, one time I was trying to chase all that money. But I'm like, Lord, that's too hard. <laughs> that's too much of a burden I can bear. I can't keep up with the Joneses. I can't keep up with the Phillips, the uh, Moreaus. I can't do it. Okay, that's not me. That's not my lifestyle. Thank you for letting me know that. Okay, I'd rather have two good friends than 200. Okay, I'd rather have no good friends 
and have the Lord. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because even your family can bring you down. Even your family. And I'm just talking about Diane. You going around here and letting Portia just do anything. She, I mean, why don't she just become a madam? You know, have, have her own entourage of people. At least she'll be a boss woman. Won't be for the right things. But, hey, you ain't trying to tell her to do something else with her life. Because she still can. She fought it. 40 and fabulous she ain't 20 and evidently she don't understand that her body is going to get old and those assets that she keep flaunting around they're going to uh, need to be tightened up every so many years and too much plastic surgery you're going to end up like what was that Elvis Presley the looking wife Priscilla and it was somebody that was part of a modeling agency I can't think of her name to save my life but she kind of looked like Frankenstein running around him because too much plastic surgery will get you looking like Michael Jackson. And and I ain't got no nose fillers or anything. So I'm glad Janet Jackson stopped. Glad she stopped, okay? But you get too addicted. You get too obsessed. And you get too worldly. And that's what happens. And see, now she got this person up here calling her a dog. And, uh, and, and acting like he loved her and all that. He got a Miss Karen running after him. Still looking for her 200K. And you don't think she's going to get it, Keep. <laughs> He got the worst kind on his ass, okay? And she gonna get her money sooner or later. Now, you know, she was on her Instagram account post uh, while she was in Miami this past uh, couple of days or yesterday. You know, he was with her. So, I don't know why the server can't catch him. But, I'm saying, hey, when you're running, you're gonna get caught one of day. One of these days, you're gonna get caught, okay? When you least expect it. And it might be on your wedding day, which I hope never comes to fruition. You know, I don't like putting bad things on people, but it just it, it just don't add up. It really just don't add up. The man ain't never there with you with none of your accomplishments you've made. He ain't sitting by you. At least I can not say, but Kenya, you know, she had Mark there here and there. You know what I'm saying? He may have looked like he wanted to be on the show or when he was on the Tamara Hall show or when he was on Real Housewives of Atlanta here and there. May have gave you a little something, something uh, to think that he was somewhat interested in the relationship even if i could be farther for the truth of what i'm saying but uh at least he was down Kyle, you don't never see them together on no interview show nothing so like that tells you that right before she he hiding and running from somebody but then he ain't playing it too smart because he's sitting up on his instagram account i don't really go on it. i think i've been on up maybe twice it was very boring couldn't get with it and um, I just go through, you know, my lovely YouTubers I watch, which is Sunday on me. And uh, Tisa Tales. And, and um, I think that's pretty much the only ones that really, really cover him in depth. You know what I'm saying? Where you can look for storylines yourself. Where you can just look at the foolishness that Portia is uh, parading herself into. And then she even called herself a thought. I'm like, now you know what a thought is, but you don't know what the uh, real uh, Underground Railroad was about. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Then you had to have Phaedra give you a history lesson. But you are part, born and bred into the legacy of all of that civil rights um, <coughs> paraphernalia and, and, and symboli uh, symbolisms and, and, and euphemisms and just the, the rich culture. You know what I'm saying? You were right there with MLK himself. All right? And you probably could have. Well, if you was a little young, older, you probably would have rubbed head with Malcolm X as well. I mean, girl, your grandfather was right there with you. Could have had you in tow in his arms. You know what I'm saying? But, of course, and I'm trying to figure out why women, they have these grown-ass kids that they've had from, <sighs> I want to say good stop, but we can for a better lack of a word, good stop people or, or, or celebrities or whatever. Why do they keep their husband last name for the life of me i don't understand it especially if these are empowering women that can survive and do things on their own and have their own wealth why does portia williams mom diane williams still holds on to her ex-husband's name especially when another woman has already fit the bill and replaced her on documents marriage licenses death certificates and all that stuff her kids were grown. Why does Diane keep that last name? It makes me wonder. Did you ever get over him, honey? Did you get? Did you ever get over Portia's dad leaving you? Cause it, it just don't make much sense. You're supposed to have everything. So you, from what I read, 
and that's why I said some of these things cannot be true. You you supposed to be worth a million too, Diane. But yet, uh, mm, I don't understand. I don't understand. Help me understand, fam. Get down in these comments. Enlighten me, cause I just may be off the mark, or I may be on the mark, but just teetling a little bit. Okay, need somebody to straighten me up on the facts. If you worth a one million. And you got your daughter out here worth some million. Why do y'all need no good ass men? Okay. That's what I, I don't understand. I, I, I don't. You know, I'm like, where's your house, Diane, that Portia did come to and, and stayed there for a while till she got her own? Because right now, it seems like you don't occupy your space over there, too. And I understand if you got to watch P, PJ all the time, ain't no sister Portia. Bringing her over there to you. Might well go and solidify your little spot in there. Sell you your house or whatever. Get you a good, nice bank account on that. Because you're going to need it. Because um, Portia ain't holding up her, her ideal. And she going around here paying for everything. She on the spell. And, and carrying on trying to. Hey, it look like Simon got you on the spell too, Diane. Because you sure wasn't doing too much either. He may not have put spell on. Don't get me wrong, but his hand's dirty somewhere in there, just like OJ. He may not have pulled the trigger or sliced and diced uh, Nicole, but he probably knew who did. You know what I'm saying? So, guilty by association. And that's why I put Simon. You may not have done it, but you didn't say don't do it. You didn't say, no, nah, I'll leave her alone. She just, she, she just like me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I got. Maybe it's my charisma. Not, but anyway. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Cause see, we, we we as women, we got to do better by ourselves. We can't sit up here and say, "Oh, we gonna let a man take care of us." You know, even though they're supposed to be the provider, the protector, the uh, uh, the the one who's head of household, and the only person that comes before you is the Lord. That's how it's supposed to go. But we're talking about a married couple, a married man, a married woman. Of course, you don't fall in any one of those categories. So, that's why she's on the outskirts and she's getting all of this negativity that's going to continue to follow her. Because she thinks she can have it all without having marriage. I'm like, girl, do you think you Oprah? And had Oprah didn't even have no kids, okay? She had no kids by stabbing me. Mm-mm. No. She ran them pants, skirts, and anything else she wanted to put on. Because she told him where he could go if he wanted to go whenever he wanted to go. Okay? The door was always open. And don't let it hit it. Don't let it hit it behind as he want to go out when he got caught up in his feelings. Okay? So, you know, you're not, you're not flossing like Oprah. You don't have the money like Oprah. So, you need to sit down somewhere, Portia. I, you would think this year would have something to say about you that's positive. But see, we came in in a negative balance again. Hopefully, you can secure yourself and get back on your platforms. I don't know if that's an option for you or not. I don't even know if we should have that as an option. Because it don't seem like you want to sit behind no desk and be no real CEO. So, I guess this may be your claim to fame to be on Ratchet Reality TV show. Because you still have your assets. Meaning your facialness, your body. If you want to be face and body all the time, then okay. But, like I said, that's so vain. That's so shallow. And so over popularized okay so that's all i have for this video guys like i love gotta have more don't forget when you come over to the house ring the doorbell that's liking the video and when you're leaving getting all your gear going back to your homes <coughs> from visiting with me hit that subscribe button as you're opening up the door and share the video as you're getting into your car okay and i will see y'all next time peace out blessings and again happy new year